What do you do with all that traffic? Well, that's kind of where the communications part goes in. You want to um, capture that, um, those people's information because um, you can see, you can capture a lot of statistical data from your, the visitors on your site, but you don't know who they are. So you need to get them to somehow identify themselves so that you can communicate with them on a consistent basis. Now there's a whole bunch of ways that you can do that. Um, on, the, on the Diplomat site, we've, uh, we've got a preferred guest club where we um, take their email and mailing address so that we can you know, send, them stuff, send people stuff on their birthdays and their anniversaries and, and send them uh, information about the, about the restaurant that's, that's going on all the time. But um, more and more people are getting annoyed with so much email. People are trying to cut out email. So uh, what we're trying to do now with our clients is, um, now that we've just got them into using email, now we're trying to get them out, of, well, still do email, but uh, transfer them into using stuff like Facebook and Twitter because um, that also acts as a, as a permission asset. So um, that's a way for somebody to, say, to raise their hands and say, hey, contact me again. So. Um, with Twitter, this is a this is a picture I found of like it's like a taco stand or something like that. That's instead of you know going to visit up visit us on our website, they want people to follow them on Twitter so that they can send updates to them all the time. Um, so like I say, you want to convert your traffic. So all that traffic that goes back to my Sprinkler Daddy site, I've got a video there, which is um, another great reason to use video is that it converts. Um, if you had a if I had a um, you know, a, a letter there with all the information that's contained in that video, it wouldn't convert as well as having that video there. Um, it, it lets people connect to you, the person, and see that there's somebody there on the other side. And, and uh, it's why, you know, TV shopping works so well, is because if we can see something, um, it converts a little better. So um, what do I want you to do on my site? It's very clear. I want you to sign up for a quote. And that's so give me your information, tell me who you are, and then I can communicate back and forth to you. So you've got to have that, um, you know, that, that carrot on the other side. You've got to give them a reason to want to continue getting stuff. So that's either um, so that you can basically so you can get them more information because um, their chances are they're not just going to go to your website and, and buy whatever you have. They'll you know, it's a process. You have to contact people, you know, seven or eight times, I think, is, is uh, some of the stats out there that you have to contact people before they're actually going to follow or uh, actually going to buy something. So, um, so yeah, the email and, like, the mailing address and stuff, that's, that's great. Um, if you can get that stuff, that's, that's, like, number one because then you've kind of got the, you know, the key to the safe. You can, you can access them um, however, however you need to. Um, but with Twitter and Facebook, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a lower level um, of permission because they don't necessarily give you um, all of their personal information, but they give you the right to still get in front of them. So.